What's up you guys, Jason here. I finally got my backpack base weight to below eight pounds and it feels so great on my back. If you guys are interested in seeing how I done that and the gear that I have purchased to do this, then please stick around. All right, you guys, today we're gonna to take a look at the gear that I carry for summer trips now. Uh, like you know, I said, my gear is always changing. Um, I'm always finding something more expensive and lighter weight that I want. Uh, so it is what it is, but this is the fourth time I've filmed this video, so I'm gonna to try to get through this as positively as I can. Um, keep having some uh, microphone and uh, focusing issues. So hopefully it works out well this time. So let's start off with my pack. This is the Z-Pax Nero. It is a 38 liter pack, uh, 25 liters main body, and then the other 13 liters are on the outside. We got uh, a big mesh pocket here in the front, and then two side pockets for water bottles or you know whatever. Um, it is a very, very minimalist pack. It has a removable hip belt. Um, it's made out of Dyneema composite fabric or DCF or Cuban fiber, whichever you call it. Um, very comfortable, especially with the weight that you carry in this thing. So let's get into what I keep in the pack. All right, first up we have the Outdoor Research Helium 2 Rain Jacket. I really love this thing. I've had this for a while. I don't really see myself switching to anything else in, unless I find something that kind of interests me more than this. Alright, next up is the Deuce of Spades trowel for obviously what you use a trowel for. Okay, here we have my alcohol bottle for my alcohol stove. It is an 8 ounce uh, alcohol bottle. Um, I generally use 1 ounce per day because I only do one hot meal a day which works out great for me so that's kind of how I judge my trips and stuff. Alright, next up we have my tent steak bags with my tents or my steaks in it for my duplex tent. Alright, here we have the C-Knock or Knock water bag that goes with my Catadyne Bee Free filter. Um, they have special bags for these Bee Free filters because the threads are a lot bigger than your standard filter. So keep that in mind if you buy another bag for your Bee Free filter. Or if you're thinking about buying or getting a Bee Free filter, you know, it does come with a bag. Uh, one of the complaints about this filter is the flow on it, and I have experienced that flow issue. and the one thing that I have found is what happens is when you store this for a long period of time, the the hollow membrane fibers inside dry out and then it takes a long time for them to get wet again to where you get a good flow. So what I've been doing is before I'm getting ready to go on a trip, I will actually soak this filter uh, overnight so that way it gets nice and saturated. And then when I'm on the trail, and using the filter on a daily basis, uh, I have no flow issues because it's staying wet. So if you have that issue, maybe something for you to try. That's it for the outside of the pack. Let's go inside now. All right, first up we have the Light AF Small Bear Bag Kit. Um, the Bear Bag Kit comes with the Bear Bag, obviously, and then it comes with the Rock Sack, uh, the PCT Toggle, and the Bear Line. I also keep my Tokes uh, titanium long-handled spoon in here. Here is my another Light AF bag. This is what I keep my toiletries in. Uh, you know, stuff to wipe with, uh, wipes, uh, A&D ointment. I keep um, hand sanitizer on the front of this pack. All right, here we have the Sea to Summit Eros Pillow. Very small, as you can see. Uh, very lightweight, weighs nothing. Really comfortable, no complaints. All right, extra pair of socks. All 
Here I have my cook kit. It is in the light AF pot sack. I use the batch stoves 12 ounce cook pot. Um, I also use the Graham Winnie Pro stove and I use the carbon felt uh, for a windscreen or as a pot grab and then I also use a like a Swedish fire steel instead I use that instead of a Bic lighter because in case it gets wet my fire steel still works it's just something I've always carried so it just it works so I continue to use it all right here is another change uh, this is my electronics bag and what has mainly changed about this is I used to carry a uh, 20,400 milliamp hour or a 26,800 milliamp hour battery pack and it was just way too much and way too heavy for my needs so I've switched to the anchor 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack uh, it has the Qualcomm quick charge so you can charge this thing up in no time and it also has the rapid charge to charge your phone or camera batteries or whatever it is you're charging it'll charge it up very fast I keep extra cords in here for my phone and my USB charger for my camera and I also keep my Night Court NU25 headlamp in here as well. Uh, here's another change. I was using the Thermarest NeoAir X Lite. Uh, this is the long wide version. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, I sleep good on it, but I'm trying to save weight so I was looking at other lightweight options and I come across this uh, Gossamer Gear 8th inch foam pad um, and I know a lot of people are like well there's no comfort there you know no insulation value you know I, I get it um, but like I said it's only gonna be for summer months and I could go lay on concrete and go to sleep no problem so I mean it's not a huge issue for me I'm going to try it out, and if it doesn't work for me, then I will go back to the Thermarest Thermo Neoair X Lite, uh, which will add a little bit of weight to my pack, but I mean, it's whatever. I mean, it's not a huge issue. All right, next up we have the Z Pax Duplex Tent. This is the spruce green. Uh, the reason I chose the spruce green is because it's the thickest of the materials and for something this expensive uh, I wanted some a little more durability uh, a little more peace of mind I guess uh, this tent was very expensive it took me a long time to actually pull the trigger on buying this but I really love it they have uh, blue they have camo uh, and then spruce green I think they might have another option but I'm not sure this uh, uses two uh, hiking poles to set up which I used to not carry, but I do now. Um, so, I love this tent. And then last up in the pack is my, this is the Hammock Gear 40 degree top quilt. I bought this when I was hammock camping and I have since you know went back to a tent because I sleep better, uh, but I still use this. It works out great for uh, summer months. Uh, I have a Enlightened Equipment 20 degree quilt for the colder temperatures. Uh, this works out great for summer. Like I said, I mean, there's a lot of times where I actually get too hot in this. I'll kick it off, uh, and it's extremely lightweight. I love it. I've had it for quite a few years. Um, that's it, you guys. Uh, like I said, my stuff is always changing. Um, I'm always spending way too much money uh, buying new stuff, but that's just the way it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe this will give you some... Uh, ideas for some lighter weight gear for yourself or whatever if you guys have any questions or anything you know please leave it in the comments and till next time hope to see you guys on trail